going to call her Pacific Blue as her nickname. What do you think of it, Jean? You like that nickname? Sounds pretty good. All right, Pacific Blue. We're not going to show your face, right? And you're okay if we video your procedure for our friends on YouTube and Facebook or whatever? We've got the Gumby Jean helping out this Good morning, morning. guys. Oh, wow. Ooh. So, why don't you tell us how you did this? I was washing dishes. Uh-huh. And the big knife, mm -hmm. I was, you know, putting soap on it through a scrub. Mm-hmm. And I guess I missed the target. Instead of going through the scrub, I went through the right, finger. Right, there you go. Okay. Well, you need a few little stitches on this, so we're going to do that for you. And i got to tell you the truth here, that this first part's going to hurt a little bit where I numb it up, okay? You said you never had stitches in like, an, like a hand or an arm or anything like that before. Well, bless your heart. It's just time. You're due, don't you think? <laughs> yes. Everybody ought to get some stitches once in a while. Are you going to put that right on the thing? I'm going right in the wound with it. Oh. I know, right? Really? Yeah, I really am. But I'm holding pressure on the nerves to your finger. If you're wondering why I'm squeezing your finger so tightly yeah. that you were, <laughs> you were wondering why, um, is because by doing that, I can actually cause a little anesthesia to your finger by doing that. Pretty clever, huh? Oh, bless your heart. Are you okay? Yeah. You don't have to watch, and we'll do this as quickly as possible and as painlessly as possible. Here. You want to hold my hand? Gumby Jean, I'll hold your hand. Yeah, please. please. It's not a fun t Wednesday, is it? No. Hey guys, Dr. Gilmore here. Yes, we muted this part out. It does hurt to get an injection in a wound, but it has to be done if we're going to numb it up for the stitches, and, well, that's the way life is sometimes. This is no fun for anybody when this happens. We You're know. Okay. Sorry. You're okay. That wasn't the worst thing you ever That's had happen. That's the worst part, and it's over. So we had you soaking in some beta dye, okay. right? Yeah. Did you put a bandage or something on this first? Yes. Okay. I put turmeric on there to stop the bleeding because it was bleeding really bad. I bet it was. Okay. Oh, I know that burn. Yeah, I bet that stung a lot, hurt. huh? Yeah, it's just it wouldn't stop bleeding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You don't need you're to fine. apologize. Just do me a favor and just stay real still for okay. me. Sure. And we're going to get this done quickly and get you dressed up, wrapped up, and on your way to a better day. Why are you apologizing? We're sorry you cut your finger. Yeah, right? It's all good. It's all good now. Once we get, <laughs> once we get that I'm medicine dumb. in there, right? The hard part's <laughs> yeah. over. Those knives will get you, though. Man, yeah. I cut myself all the time. I do, too, but never like this. Yeah. Like, it's just a small cut. cut. You know, like right. when you're cutting it. Right. Yeah, or little paper cuts and things like that. Yeah. Those hurt the worst. They do. Paper yeah. cuts. Only if you squeeze lemon juice on them. <laughs> oh, man. But they'll help you find them if you're not sure where they are. Exactly. Definitely. I want this to hold. There we go. A few little ties, and then we'll cut this first one. Do you need the scissors yes. back? Did you not need? Oh, okay, go right ahead. Pacific Blue is such a serene-sounding name, isn't it? It is. It is. Aren't you? Could be worse. You could be in Chicago right now, where it's like wind chill of minus one thousand or something. Uh, yeah. No air and running <laughs> at all. I hear that. Um, it's dangerous to even go outside right now because it's so cold if you live in Chicago. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of friends <clears throat> in Chicago. We hope they are staying nice and warm. I hope this isn't one of those where after I put three in, I look at it and say, you know, maybe yeah, I should put four. another one in there. <laughs> well, the good news is it doesn't hurt at all coming out. Yep, the stitches don't hurt coming out at all. They won't dissolve. <laughs> Everybody wants the dissolve. Uh -huh, right? If they did, they would dissolve in like a couple of days and that wound would come back open. Or that adhesive, you know, that they oh, use. Yeah. The stair yeah. strips, yeah. Right, yeah. That'd be nice. If only we could just do it with the stair. Now, smaller ones we can do with just stair strips, that's right. But these bigger ones. Especially in this part of the finger because this is considered this is not considered small. 
Yes, this is small, but it's not teeny tiny, okay? Uh -huh. And there's there are different levels of smallness, mm -hmm. right? Right. Okay, so there are some <clears throat> wounds that are very simple, uh, maybe on the back of the hand or on the arm. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It's just a very simple, straightforward laceration that we can just put a sterry strip on and say, you know what, that's all it needs. Right. But what I worry about with this, because you use your fingers for so much, you're right. touching things, if we don't... If we don't go ahead and suture this, then there's a good chance that this will open back up. All right, and then, then we've, you know, sort of like wasted your time because we didn't get the stitches so that that would hold. And um, then you end up with a bigger scar. And that's the whole idea is to, to reduce the size of the scar and to expedite the healing, right? Right. Okay. Are you going to have to do a fourth? Maybe. We'll see. We will see. Oh, I'm not blocking the camera. Mm -hmm. I have this magnified like 5x <clears throat> so that we people can really see. 4.1. Mm -hmm. So that was probably before I kicked the camera. <laughs> I probably adjusted based on that. Let's see what we have now after three stitches. Do you have a little bit of of uh, peroxide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're going to need another one right there. But it's not hurting now, is it? No. Yeah, so it doesn't matter now to you whether you, ah, you're just like, stitch me up. Put all you have to, right? <laughs> no big deal. We got past the hard part. How long does it stay numb? A few hours. But even after that, it'll just throb a little bit. It won't hurt like it did before. But if you were able to paint it up with that turmeric and you, you uh, were real tough, I mean, you were very brave when we put that anesthesia in there, right? Mm -hmm. If you could handle that, then you're sure not gonna have a problem once the anesthesia wears off. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I can't really see this side of the stitch very well, but maybe we'll be able to show better when it's all done. Okay, then, okay. Jean, a little cut, please, ma'am. Thank you. And let's see what we have now. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Since we're here, I say, Another one? I say we get one more. This, we'll call this the bonus stitch, right? It's total of how many? This would be five. Yeah. That's coming together nicely, right? That's what we want. And then I'll give you a note so your husband know you can't wash dishes, you can't clean, you can't cook. He has to do everything. It's okay. My mother-in-law does it anyways. Oh, okay. I was trying to help her this morning because I felt bad. She's always washing all these dishes. Well, there you go in the future. Stay out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you get distracted and it just... Yeah. Sure. And then when you have something really sharp and a distraction, the next thing you know, we end up having to make a video. <laughs> That's how it sort of goes. I was telling her about Mama G. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Avocado the avocado incident. pit incident Ooh. that we did not video. Yeah, we didn't need to. <laughs> It was a bloody mess. Ooh. My darling wife, go ahead. She um, she was trying to whack the uh, avocado seed with a knife. It's common practice. I'm gonna give you that stitch back. We're not gonna need it anymore. To uh, you know how when uh, you go, you you're familiar with that. Okay, yes, so you just yes, sort of yes. hit. Well, she did her hand instead, and and she whacked right between the fingers, and she lacerated an artery. Oh. And by the time I got into the kitchen, it was early in the morning, uh, there was literally blood everywhere. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we had a, we got her up here right away and got the second stitch right through that artery. Gummy Jean, I think this is going to be just fine. This looks really good. This, has, this came together very nicely. And I'm sorry that anesthesia hurt. So we're going to have uh, Gummy Jean put a dressing on this for you, okay? okay. Thank you. And if you have any more problems with it, you're going to let me know. 
and we'll see you back in about a week to take those out, okay? Okay. All right. Come here, Jean. She's all yours. Okay. Just like that. There you go. We'll hide that blood spot. Nobody has to even know that happened now, see? It's like it never happened. All right? It's the magic of Hollywood. You were very brave. Thank you very I'm, much. I'm sorry that stick hurt. It's okay. No. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm Michelle. Today, we'd like to tell you about Meta7. Meta7 will help you activate your life and get you where you need to be and through the day. Check it out. There's, There's a link in the description below. All right, folks, this is Emily, and Emily's been using Coco Skin Plus. Emily, um, you want to give your personal testimonial? I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. Awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I've definitely noticed a difference. It's definitely helped my hair feel better, my skin feel better, and you can pick it up on Amazon. All right, check out Coco Skin Plus on m7amazon.com. Available, and it was designed by Dr. John Gilmore. Thanks.